Hi, I'm uh, going to show you how to start your senior project ePortfolio. The first thing you need to think about is the browser. So if we take a look at, uh, let me get rid of this. I use Google Chrome, but uh, Google, or I'm sorry, Fate, uh, Firefox is good as well right here, uh, or Google Chrome. Uh, if you're on a Mac, Safari is fine. Just make sure you're using uh, very recent editions of these browsers. On some of the school computers, there's old editions of Internet Explorer. They will not uh, provide all the features you need from uh, Google Sites. So if you're on a school computer in the library, for example, you will have a Firefox option. Uh, so I would use that. I am going to open up uh, Google Chrome. And I'm going to uh, navigate to the login. And the login is in your Senior Project Student Manual. I'm going to go through the uh, district website for students, Senior Project, and then uh, go to Google Apps, Login. So the login is uh, first initial last name. They're, they have several different login screens. Some you don't have to put the at WebsterCSD.org. That's probably uh, one that you might be at. I'm just going to type in my password. If uh, you are signing in for the first time, which I hope you're not, uh, it's just change me. If you've had someone reset your password, it's change me 2012. And hopefully you'll remember a password that you used or that you're asked to, to add. So you won't see this page. You'll go right to uh, the Google Sites page. And you won't even see this page, but you should, if you go to Google Sites and uh, click on Create, this is the page that I'd like to start the tutorial on. When you uh, click on Create, you will have an opportunity to choose between a blank template or from uh, gallery templates. You're going to pick the blank template. You're going to name your site. I would use your name or something about the project. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put in Gold's Gym Body Transformation Challenge. This is something I did recently. Sort of look at it as my own senior project. So uh, I'll use this as an example. Here you'll see I'm going to highlight right here. This is your URL the address for your website or your ePortfolio will be the same for everyone up till you get to this point. And by default, whatever you type in here, it puts down here and puts dashes between the words. I would highlight that and simplify it. So I'm just going to make mine uh, Gold's Gym. So now my address will, will be this part of the address and then this. This is what you're going to need to have to share with people. And then select a theme. So you have lots of themes. You can come back and do this later. I'm going to pick uh, Cherry. And then under that you have more options. And the only thing you need to worry about here is selecting anyone in the world view this site, make it public. Because right, so, you're going to eventually share this out to teachers, judges, maybe your mentor, parents. Uh, I've had students who share it out with uh, admissions offices at colleges and so on. You click on the create button and I started my ePortfolio at this point. So now uh, what I'd like to do is look in my senior project manual uh, or look at some senior project ePortfolios from last year. Again, both of those things are available off the district senior project site. And I want to know how I'm going to set up uh, my ePortfolio. My e so I need to create additional pages or sub pages, right? This is going to be my home page. And I can edit this page. And so, for example, if I wanted to insert 
an image and I know the uh, URL so let me uh, let me go out and get an image of uh, Gold's Gym so I'll do a quick uh, image search for Gold's Gym and I like that one and if I right click on that I get image URL so then I can go back to uh, my ePortfolio paste that in there and click I'm gonna I'm gonna also paste the URL under all text so I'm referencing where I got that image and insert it and it's way too big so I'm gonna make it smaller and uh, I can center it if I want uh, or put it on the left but I'm gonna keep it on the right or um, I'm gonna keep it on the left and I, I could put text in here I can wrap the text around this uh, or not I can resize it I can remove it but I like how that looks right now so I'm just gonna hit save okay so the next thing I, I know I need to put in pages where I'm going to house my proposal my mentor logs my mentor meetings or my project logs time logs reflection page for my reflection essay and so on so I'm going to start adding those pages so I'm going to uh, click on new page and I'm going to type proposal I'm going to keep this under the home or at the top level I'm going to keep it as a web page template and just hit create and now I have a place it opens up in edit mode you see all these options right here and for, for right now I'm just going to uh, save that but if I was actually working on my ePortfolio I would just cut and paste my proposal document into this area right here so I'm going to save that now I'm going to add another page mentor bio create and again I can insert uh, images here and so on give the bio I can do the text and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to save that and I'm going to make one more page time logs and I know some of you uh, I wish more of you would have just kept track of your time logs right here as the time as your project went on might be useful to insert a table and you can just type right in in here the date and time started, time ended, total hours, and uh, maybe I wanted to at this point add a, a column so I go back insert column on the right so I can do that and uh, task completed something to that effect and if I wanted to maybe make this bigger let me make that 16 yeah maybe 18 okay and I'm gonna move this over a little bit and I can start entering in my dates and my time and so forth on on this site so I'm gonna save that and I'm going to show you one more thing on this part of the video and that's how to edit this sidebar area because I want my proposal right under home right so I want to move that and they're in the I don't like the order that they're in so I want you to understand that this area up top is called the the header this area down at the bottom is called the footer area this is the content area main content area and this is the sidebar the menu uh, the menu part of your project 
So you'll, there's a link here, it says edit sidebar. I'm going to go right into the edit sidebar uh, link and it lays out your page. Header, footer, content area, sidebar. So I'm going to edit that navigation area. I'm going to change the title, have a look around. Right? You could put menu or something. I have to click on display title. I want it to display it. And I want it, I don't want it, when it automatically organizes, which is the default, that means it puts it in alphabetical order. So I'm going to unclick that. And I want to, if I click on the proposal, highlight whatever I want to move, and then use the arrows. Whoops, went too far. Move it back down. And I'm going to click OK and save. says here my changes have been saved. I go back and now you can see it says have a look around. Home proposal is, at, uh, is underneath home and then mentor bio and then time log. Okay so that concludes uh, this part one. I'm going to show some additional features in part two.